Hi guys, it's Rumi the Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 10 on SOA exam. Oh, not SOA exam P, but just a question random 10 that I found somewhere on the internet. But I thought it would be really fun to do this one, so let's just dive right in. Because it looks like kind of hard math, and I just wanted to take you guys through my process. Okay, so suppose that X and Y represents two losses that are insured by a policy that pays the total of the to two losses up to a maximum of 10. So um, I'm going to draw this out real quick. So F and F, um, X and Y are both bounded by 10, right? And the insurance company before 10 pays this total sum, right? To pays the total amount of the two losses. But after 10, it only pays just 10. It's not going to pay more than 10 because it's the maximum. Okay, find expected payment of the insurance company. So this basically says like X plus Y has to be less than or equal to 10. So it's going to be this region for below below 10. Below, okay, <laughs> that was kind of confusing to say. Okay, so for, if I integrate your respect to y first, right, then my top bound is going to be um, 10 minus x. My lower bound is going to be 0. And this is going to be from 0 to 10. My x is going from 0 to 10. 0 to 10. Right, so that's going to be my bounds if I integrate the first part, right? So this is going to be x plus y. That's my expected value, x y over two five zero zero, plus the second bound is, I mean the x is still going to go zero to ten, but now we're looking at this area right here, right? Where x plus y is greater than ten, so that's going to be this part right here. So if I it um, integrate respect to y, my upper bound is going to be 10, my lower bound is going to be the function 10 minus x, and it's going from, x is still going from 0 to 10, so 0 to 10. My expected value for that region is just 10 times our function over 2, 5, 0, 0. And this is again dy dx. Okay, so then let's integrate this. Okay. So I think, I think my best bet is for the first part at least, um, just distribute those plus y squared x, and I'm gonna take out the two thousand five hundred out, right? So this whole thing is multiplied by one over two thousand five hundred, right? Right, right, right. So this side's not gonna be as bad, right? Because this is going to be just um, 10xy dy dx okay so let's do this if I respect to if I integrate in respect to y it's going to be equal to x squared y squared over 2 plus y cubed x over 3 integrating respect from 0 to 10 minus x if I plug in 0 for y then both of these terms cancel out so I, I only have to worry about the um, first part. So again, that's x squared, 10 minus x squared over 2 plus this is uh, 10 minus x cubed <laughs> x over 3. Did you see why this is ugly? Yeah, I hope you guys see it now. And I'm respecting, I'm integrating respect to dx. Okay, so uh, I have a lot of choices here. I think I'm gonna integrate. Let me know but down below what you integrated by if you want to. If you want, if you wanted to um, integrate by parts, or if you integrate it by multiplying it up, I think I'm going to integrate by parts on this side and multiply it out on this side. You know, best of both worlds. Am I right? So if I integrate by parts on this side, my u is going to be um, 10 minus x squared. So the u is just 2, 10 minus x. Actually, I'm going to keep the 2 in there. 10 minus x squared over 2, and this is just over 2, so that just cancels out. dv is equal to, here actually, let me move this over 2. I'm going to move this over here. Okay. So dv is going to be the x squared, so b is going to be x cubed over 1 third. No, then I would have to do this multiple times. I don't know if I want to do that. Okay, yeah, I think I'm just going to multiply it out. Cancel that, cancel that. Oh. <laughs> 
Okay, so if I multiply it out, so this side's going to be 100 minus 20x plus x squared over 2 plus, ooh baby, so this is basically saying 10 minus x times this value right here, right? 10 minus x times x, 10 minus x squared. So that's going to be equal to 1,000 minus 200x plus 10x squared minus 100x plus 20x squared minus x cubed. And this whole thing times x over 3. Ooh, baby. We're still making it. This line's not very straight. Okay, that's still not straight, but it's a little bit better. So I'm going to multiply it all out. So this is 100x squared minus 20x cubed plus x fourth over 2. Plus, I'm multiplying everything by x. 1000x minus 200x squared plus 10x cubed minus 100x ah, minus squared plus 20x cubed minus x fourth right over three okay so i think i'm gonna try to get a common denominator so multiply this side by three and multiply this side by two okay so that's going to be equal to 300 x squared minus 60 x cubed plus three x fourth plus 2000 x minus 400 x squared plus 20x cubed minus 200x squared plus um, 40x cubed minus 2x fourth all over 6. Okay, dokie, lemon choki. So what can terms can I cancel out? I'm going to start with the fourth, the biggest power, negative 2x fourth. Then I'm going to move on to the third. The thirds are here, so 40 plus 60. 60 minus, oh wait, that's, yeah, so this, these three terms, right? So that's 60 minus 60, x cubed, so that's 0. Oh wait, there's a fourth term right here, so that's going to be equal to 3 minus 2 x fourth, that's just x fourth. Okay, so that's done. The x squared terms, we have, this right here is negative 600 minus 300, so negative 300 x fourth. And then my x term is left with just 2000x over 6. I'm going to take that 6 out. And we're integrating this from 0 to 10 dx. Okay. So this is x fourth, x fifth, 1 fifth, minus x, f oh, wait a minute. This should be x second. Ooh. Rough, rough. x cubed 100 plus x squared. 1,000. Integrating from 0 to 10. Okay, so let me plug that into my calculator real quick. So again, that's 1 fifth, 10 to the fifth, minus 100, 10 to the third, plus 1,000, 10 squared, right? Divided by 6. That's, ooh, I think I'm going to keep it as a fraction. So that's 2, 0, 0, 0, 0 over 6. Okie dokie. Oh, but that's only the one side, right? <laughs> we have to do the other side. Let me go back. So we have to do <laughs> this part now. Okay, but the good thing is this part's not too bad. Okay, let's follow that red line. So integrating with respect to y first, that's going to be equal to 10xy squared, right, over 2. Integrating from, so this is our integral, integrating from 10 minus x to 10. Okay, so that's equal to 0 to 10, 10x. So that's going to be 10 squared, which is 100. 100 times 10 is 1,000x over 2 minus, if I plug in that value here, so that's 10 
10x minus 10 minus x squared over 2. Okay, so this part is minus 10x, 100 minus 20x plus x squared over 2. And then, so I'm going to multiply that 10x in. Again, this is e respecting dx, integrating respect to dx. We have it. We haven't took the second integral yet. We just only took the one. So that's a uh, thousand to x. I'm going to keep that negative sign out, by the way. Minus 200x plus 10x cubed, right? Yes, all right. Trust yourself. Oh, no. Don't trust yourself. x squared. Okay, over 2. <laughs> And then this side is also 1,000 over 2 x integrating with respect to dx. Okay, I think we can simplify this because 1,000 minus 1,000 is just 0, right? And then negative 200 is going to be positive because two negatives make a positive. And then just distribute that negative sign to the x cubed, negative 10 to the x cubed over 2 integrating still the same range, still in respect to x. Okay, so then this is going to be x cubed um, times 6 on the bottom, 2,200. My mental math is not good, so I'm going to write everything out for you. <laughs> okay, here we go. Integrating, respect to, integrating from 0 to 10. So what would this value be? 200, 10 cubed over 6 minus 10, 10 to the fourth divided by eight. Okay. Um, so this is approximately equal to 20833.33333333 repeating. Okay, so we have both parts. We just have to make sure you, when we add it, it's this plus our other part, when we add it, we have to make sure to divide it by, so that's equal to 20833.33 plus 33333.33, repeating, is equal to 24166.66 divided by 2500 which is approximately equal to 9.6666, which is our answer D. Okay, if you guys have any questions or if you have any better way to solve this, let me know down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!